Hi, I'm Eric LeClaire from Stinger Electronics. Today I'm going to show you how to find the correct firmware for your Hyten, based on what type of integration solution you have in your Jeep Wrangler or Gladiator. First, jump on the internets and visit StingerElectronics.com. Click on the little magnifying glass icon in the upper right corner and search for UN1810. Click on the one that says Hyten, UN1810. This will load the Hyten's product page. Click on the fourth tab, which is called New Firmware. Now we can see three different firmware versions. All are current, but designed for specific applications. If you're not using a PAC vehicle-specific integration kit, then click on the first link to download Universal Firmware. If you're using a PAC SRK kit, like the SRK JW18EH for Jeep Wrangler JL or Gladiator JT, then click the second link to get your Hyten firmware. If you're using a PAC SRK JK11H or CH1A J kit in a Jeep Wrangler JK, then click the third link to get your Hyten firmware. For this example, I'll download the universal firmware from the top link. The file will download automatically. Open your downloads folder and you'll see your firmware zip file. Do not unzip this file. Insert a USB thumb drive into your PC, Open another file explorer window and browse to the USB thumb drive where you want to save the firmware. Right click on the thumb drive, then select format from the list. Ensure the setting is set for FAT32, then click start. A pop-up will appear warning you that you're about to erase all the data on the drive. Click OK. The length of this process will vary based on the speed of your PC and the size of your thumb drive. When the pop-up shows format complete, click OK. Now open the USB thumb drive in the file explorer and copy over the file to the thumb drive. You can drag and drop, or right click and hold, then drag and select copy. Once the transfer pop-up goes away, you can remove the thumb drive from the PC and take it to the Jeep to flash the Hyten. Plug the thumb drive into one of the USB ports connected to the Hyten. From the home screen, select the settings icon, then select system settings. Now select Installer Settings by touching Enter, then type in the secret code 0052, then touch OK. Now begin the system update by touching the Update icon. And now just sit back and relax. This process takes several minutes, about eight minutes or so. We've sped up the footage for the purpose of this video. During this update process, the heightened screen will turn on and turn off. Different images will be displayed and then disappear. A few progress bars will show up, move across the screen, and then disappear as well. When you see a large red bar on the screen labeled Making Quick Boot Image, you're nearly there. This bar will go green, and the Heighten will power cycle one more time. This time when it boots up, it should bring you back to the FM radio screen with all the presets labeled empty. One last thing, anytime you update the firmware on your Hyten, we suggest that you reload the factory defaults. From the home screen, touch the settings icon, then touch the system settings icon, then load the defaults by touching the reset button. A message will pop up, touch continue. This will reset all of the settings for the Hyten. Once your Hyten reboots to the FM radio screen with all presets showing empty, all the settings have been reset to default, and your update is complete. Now you can resume using your Hyten. Remember that you may need to enter the installer settings to turn on cameras and adjust settings like vehicle settings and others. Hopefully this video helps you in finding the correct firmware for your Hyten in your Jeep. Thanks for watching.